It's Classic Country 100.1 WGLC. It is The Breakfast Show with Charles and Karen. Joining us on the phone this morning is Michelle Wade. Uh, Of course, you know her from Triple Service and also one of the main folks who are trying to bring an amazing art display to Mendota. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning. Now, the big art uh, installation... That's going to be going on to the side of your building. We've been talking about it for, I mean, obviously over a year now, hasn't it? Yes. Yeah, wow. The week week before uh, Sweet Corn Festival last year was when we launched. All right. Raise the Depot. It's the big art installation on the side of your guys' building there at the end of Illinois Avenue. Uh, It's going to be magnificent, and work is going to be getting underway, right? Correct. Over Sweet Corn Festival weekend, Ray, the artist, had constructed and brought some of the panels down for folks to be able to see, look at it, a couple of different uh, sections that he thought um, would be great to share to give everybody a glimpse at that. Um, Obviously, with things in the world today, there's been some delays um, in getting some of the materials. And then our structural engineer um, was under the weather all last week to get some of the Uh, panels actually up and start getting that structure up so we're checking in with them this week to see how he's feeling and so that way we can start getting the grid work that is going to support the mural so that way we can get that started and you definitely need a structural engineer because this thing is not small no no it is not it is going to be very visual for sure (laughs) Uh, being 50 foot tall at the center all the way up to the uh, the weather vane that is going to be true the train just like it was mm-hmm. in years past. And then it, of course, is going to be the whole length of the building, which is 127 foot. And that is going to be amazing once that gets completed. Uh, you guys had T-shirts I saw over the Sweet Corn Festival yes. weekend. You were doing those to raise funds. Uh, the yep. fundraising still going on? Fundraising is still going on. We really had a huge weekend. We got a couple of really large donations come in. Um, So we are over the $100,000 mark. Um, Our goal is $143,000. We are just over $100,000 now. Um, It has really been wonderful. Some of the stories and people that have called me from across the country that are from here or, you know, a part of train and a part of history with train stations. And so that's really been fabulous, Um, but we're so close. And our goal is for not only the mural itself, but the promenade in front of it. That's going to be great. So that way we can get that finished as well. Yeah, it's going to have some benches and things there for you. Uh, Michelle Wade talking to us, of course. Uh, You're with Triple Service. Uh, It's your building that this is going to be attached to. Uh, thankfully, it's not blocking any windows on your side of the building, uh, but it's going to be great to see all the people uh, going out and about, right, to enjoy this, the uh, Raise the Depot display? Absolutely. I think what's really going to, uh, being the second piece, it's really going to bring everything full circle for Mendota. Not only do we have the bigger corn on the side of Northern Partner Silo, Um, which is supportive of our agriculture and our background there. But this piece, you know, unfortunately we can't afford to build the building back. That would be millions of dollars, of Mm -hmm. course. But we can at least enjoy this piece of history through art. Now let's talk about what's next because it seems like about every two to three years the next art installation will have to go up. And that's, that's always the big thing. Now I have an idea for you. This may be totally unsolicited. (laughs) <laughs> but hear me out. I'm okay. thinking a giant uh, portrait of me just uh, at the end of like Jefferson on the Freight House building right there. Yes. Just my head, exactly. but at about ground level with my mouth open like a clown at a miniature golf course. That sure. would be. So are you I trying to scare totally the community? Feasible. Yeah. <laughs> are you trying to scare the community? I'm willing to start. And actually, I'll handle the fundraising myself, Michelle. Uh, with 50% going to the art installation and 50% going to the Charles Needs uh, New Pair of Shoes Fund. (laughs) Fabulous. Yeah. Well, Uh, it's funny you say the next things because there's several different things that um, I do have ideas mm -hmm. uh, for. And 
you know, but one step at a time. And again, I just, it's a big thing for Mendota, and, and that's what it's about. And none of them involve a giant uh, art installation of my head, though. You know, it, it, it is not, although we're always open to ideas. So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> Thank you for joining us this morning, Michelle. Uh, again, Raise the Depot. It's getting bigger and bigger. If someone wants to make a donation, where do they go? They go to the nciartworks.com, and there is a Mendota raise the depot um, section and uh, we do have a facebook page you can follow us there for updates and they can go online and donate right through there all right thank you so very much michelle with triple service and of course uh the raise the depot you have a great morning and i'm glad you guys had a great weekend at the sweetcorn festival we did thanks for having me appreciate it it's classic country 100.1 wglc We'll have a check of that weather forecast. Sports on the way, all right here this morning.